Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. Today we are doing a special video. We are testing out Aritzia Active Wear. Now, I recently started working out a lot more and I usually wear Lululemon workout gear, but it gets a little bit expensive. Now, I do have a drawer full of Lululemon workout stuff, but sometimes you really wanna buy something new and try out something new. So I wanna talk about some of my favorite workout stuff that is not Aritzia related, just in case you guys are interested. My favorite workout pant from Lululemon is anything Luxtreme, and specifically the Speed Up tights or the Speed Tights. These ones I think are the Speed Up tight, but they are very old, I think about like two or three years old. And now they come with like a pocket, but I love these ones because they have pockets on the side of the pant. And they're made of this like thick sweat wicking material that does not pill. Now I repeat, does not pill. So you can throw them in the wash, throw them in the dryer, and they will not pill. That's a huge thing for me with um, workout gear is that I don't want them to pill and I don't want them looking gross after like multiple wears because with workout gear you are using and abusing the stuff so you want it to last longer and for it not to look you know disgusting now a second favorite of mine that is not Aritzia related are these shoes these are the adidas ultra boost x they are the knit material ones um this specific one is pearl and i have worn them so much that there's holes on the side one hole there and one hole there but i still love them and I'm still using them to run in. Um, I do a lot of cardio, which is just running. I do like a trampoline class, which is a lot of cardio. And then I try to go to the gym from time to time, but I uh, go to the gym with Vicky, so it's it's just a little hard. But like, like I said, I love the Ultra Boost so much that I have two pairs. I got these first and then I got my second pair um, later on so I love those and then lastly if you guys are someone who wants to kind of um, Fit a workout in without actually doing workout a lot of times I will run home from work and I need a running backpack so I have this lululemon run all day backpack I believe it's called so what I do is I put them the backpack on and it has these buckles and I buckle it to myself and then that way I'm able to run the buckles are adjustable obviously but when you're running it's not kind of like bouncing around this one's adjusted to me wearing a sweater over it which is why it's a little bit loose but of course when once I go on my runs I can adjust them and that's good and then I just buckle them together back to the one sides if I want to be free and that way it prevents me from losing this because these do come undone from time to time so yeah those are some random running favorites that I wanted to just show you guys. TNA is sort of Aritzia's athleisure brand, so they don't have any sports bras, but they do have workout gear, as in leggings and bottoms. Um, but the constant is more focused on the workout active wear. So we have active wear tops, as in like sports bras and sports tops, but I bought two bras from the constant, a uh, pair of leggings from the constant and a pair of bike shorts and then I bought a pair of leggings from TNA and a lot of bike shorts from TNA. So first thing I want to talk about is the constant. I bought the relay pant in the crop version just because I'm 5'4 and a little bit short. Got stubby legs and these fit me full length. The constant relay pant is supposed to be a high-waisted sweat wicking legging. They are supposed to be high-waisted and I say are supposed to be because for me they don't go high-waisted they have a pocket on the side on the inside that you can fit your I guess like gym membership in but let's be real like who would use that pocket like the Lululemon pants I definitely use the pockets like I put my phone on the side sometimes or like my keys on the side but like this pocket is on the inside of the pant on the band like who would put something here like it doesn't really fit anything I guess if you're an avid runner and you like use gels and stuff I wore these on a run from work to home. I can already say that these are not my favorite. I just want to say in general, the constant workout stuff in terms of bottoms is not my favorite. It features no pockets, it's just a regular outside legging, just a black legging with a thick top band and it has very minimal branding on it, it just has this little symbol which is the constant symbol. So let's talk about things that I like about the constant relay pant. 
First things first, the length is really nice on me. I think the fabric is thin, so it's good for summer weather when you're running out and you want to wear a full length pant. They're not so hot. They are sweat absorbing, but I find that the entire pant kind of just becomes moist, which is not the best thing. And then cons about the pant is that this band tends to roll down on me, which I don't like at all. It also seems to slide down my body when I'm wearing them. So instead of it starting out as high waisted, they end up below my belly button or at my belly button. So when I was running with these pants, I had to stop and adjust them a lot just because the pant tends to just like slip down your body. They don't go past your belly button. They kind of stay put there, but I just like running with something a little bit more secure on my body. So I had to stop and adjust my pants about three times, which is really annoying in my opinion because the entire pant not just the band would slide down so i'd have to adjust the calf i'd have to adjust the thigh and then i'd have to adjust the stomach region which is really really annoying not sure if this is much of a con but i find that the fabric especially in between my legs because that's where it's rubbing against a lot it's very squeaky which is a really weird thing to happen the fabric, I don't know how to explain it, but it is like a soft yoga fabric. But So it is 87% polyester and 13% spandex, but because of the fabric, it just feels really squeaky, which is really strange. Day to day, I think if you're like lifting weights or something like that, nothing that requires too much movement, these would be an okay pant to wear. But all in all, I don't really give it a good rating. <laughs> I'd say it's like an all right pant to wear just to lounge in and if you're doing something that's less um, body movement. So not really a recommendation. Next thing I want to talk about is the constant lift bra. This is the lift bra. It just has a racer back. And then it does have supportive cups on the inside. They are removable, which is nice because if you don't like having um, cups in the bra then you can take them out and it, and it does feature like a thicker band on the inside but it doesn't really show so I feel like it fits me a little bit lower I'm used to having the Lululemon bras kind of cut off right at the boob but then these ones sit a little bit lower which when I was working out it kind of got a little bit itchy. I'm not mad about the bra, I actually really do enjoy wearing this. I think it's a good overall sports bra and its material is alright. You can already see that if it's rubbing against stuff there's like pilling on the sides. And I've only worn this about two or three times, so I had abuse against this bra. It's just like gone through running, which is like just me running and it's probably just chafing against the top I'm wearing on top of it. So it's not like it's gone through much wear and tear, but it's already kind of starting to wear down. So I'm, si I'm thinking the fabric is not the best material, but that's just for the dark version. And currently I am wearing the Constant Flex Bra. The only difference between the Constant Flex Bra and the Lift Bra, they are basically the same, is that the band is a little bit different on the Flex. The band just says the Constant all around, it has the exposed band, and then it does have this crisscross feature on the back, which is really pretty as well. I think bad to say about this bra, except for the same reasonings on the Lift Bra. They're made of about the same material but because this is a light color I think it's less prone to showing the wear as opposed to the black is like very obvious that it's pilling and everything so I haven't seen and noticed much pilling on this one but once again I've only worn it about one or two times so far the lighter colors I feel like have held up better than the darker colors the darker colors for some reason just show a lot more wear it's probably because you don't notice as much on the lighter colors i find that the relay short and the relay pant the material is just not all that so once again with the relay short i have to do a lot of adjusting i have a lot of rolling on the band it's cute but i just don't think it's functional which is why i would say i don't recommend the constant brand items Moving on to TNA. Now, this all started because last year I bought a pair of bike shorts by TNA. They are the Atmosphere 7 inch shorts. If you watch my videos, you always hear me raving about them. I have 
tons of pairs now. I had one black pair, which is now in the wash, so I can't show you that, but I ended up repurchasing a black pair, so this one's 100% new. And then I got a olive pair and this beautiful sky blue pair. And then recently I also bought this light gray, like kind of like steel gray bluish pair. So the atmosphere short is kind of what sparked my idea for this video. And I can say I 100% love the atmosphere shorts. I don't have any problems with rolling. I don't have any problems with adjusting. The material that the Atmosphere short is made of is way different than the Constant stuff. The Constant stuff, I can't really explain it. It just feels squeaky. But the Atmosphere shorts by TNA, they are made of like a really soft fabric. It says it's 82% nylon and 18% spandex, which is probably the biggest difference between it because the constant stuff is made of polyester and spandex. The Tessia material, which is the more classic uh, atmosphere material, it is really great. I like this stuff because it's really firm and it really sucks you in, whereas the constant stuff is a little bit more forgiving, um, which is not the best thing as well because the atmosphere stuff literally sucks you in, so you're sucked in, you're good, you can wear the stuff, you can show your belly if you need to, well not belly, but you know, you can show off and you can eat in this without feeling like you're showing a lot, but the constant material kind of gives a little bit more so you can kind of see your belly and if you do expand, there's like a little bit of, a little bit of a pouch, which is not the greatest. My one qualm about the Atmosphere short is that I wore these blue ones once and they're already rubbing. I don't know if you can see that. So they're already starting to pill. I'm thinking because my thighs rub together that that's gonna happen. With the Atmosphere stuff, I do not put them in the dryer. I just lay them flat to dry with any of the constant Inertia workout gear because it's made of this like yoga pant material item yoga pant material that um, that tends to pill, I put them in through the wash and then I just lay them out to dry. So just be wary of that. But other than that, the Atmosphere shorts, I really, really love. They are one of my favorites. Moving on to the last piece, the Atmosphere legging. These are the Vitessia brand ones too. Once again, guys, if you're going to invest in any of the Aritzia legging stuff. I know the atmosphere comes in this like really thin material and even like the equator leggings they come in this like really thin material that is like around $20. Don't buy that stuff because it's not gonna work out for you. It's so thin that you can like literally spit through it so like just make sure you buy the better quality items. So I've worn these for a run. I think they're really great. I have no problems with them, no adjustment problems. I thought they were amazing to run in. They are a little bit thicker than the constant material ones, but I kind of liked that. So no problems here, no rolling issues. They are a little bit long just because they are the full length version. And once again, I'm 5'4", so I have stubbier legs. I have like a longer torso and stubbier legs. So they don't fit me like perfectly like the Relay Pant does by The Constant, but I do much prefer the Atmosphere leggings. So if I were to do anything, I'd get probably mix and match and get the atmosphere shorts or leggings and then you can do one of the tops as well from the constant because tna doesn't offer any sports bras i forgot to mention that all the bottoms are squat proof so if you guys are scared of showing some undies or sheerness then you're okay but you have to keep in mind i don't have a big booty i got the flattest pancake butt in the world so if you guys are wondering um, they're squat proof for me, but I don't know about you big booty hopes <laughs> Okay, everyone that is my review of the workout material. What did you guys think? I think with where the atmosphere Line could probably hold up very well, but I'm not so sure about the constant material I can definitely give you guys an updated video later on Let me know if you guys would be interested in that by leaving a comment down below if you guys want to see me sport my active wear athleisure then be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley. You can see me there. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye.